Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 26th of 2023 well, it is titled a dust jet from the surface of comet 67 P. So what do we see here? Well, this is the comet known as 67 P Sheryumov Gerashmenko. And this is the comet that was studied by the Rosetta spacecraft back in 2016. And the spacecraft actually went into orbit around the comet nucleus and studied it for over a year and was able to look at it as it came closer to the sun. Now the nucleus of a comet is composed of icy material. Now ice can mean water ice as we think of ice typically, but it also can contain other ices such as methane and ammonia. Now it also contains some carbon compounds as well and some dusty material. So it's kind of a mixture of ice and other materials. So when you look at it here, while it may look at first glance to be solid rock as we tend to think of it here, it really is not. It is really a lot of icy material that is frozen very solid in the depths of space. Now when it comes close to the sun material can be expelled from it and we see an example of one of those jets of material here. And in fact Rosetta was fortunate enough to image some of these and here we see that jet of material coming out from the material. Now how does this happen? Well likely something down below the surface has been heated up. And that can happen when the comet comes close to the sun. So as it comes close to the sun, heat up that material and vaporize some of the gases uh, that are frozen below it. And when they turn into a gas, they then are expelled out at a great pressure. Now this can affect the comet in terms of affecting even its orbit slightly as jets of material will push the small comet in one direction or another. Now will it make a vast change? No, but it could slightly change its orbit as it comes in through close to our sun. So Rosetta was able to study these and look at the comet as the as it passed close to the sun when more of this would happen. When a comet is farther away from the sun, we don't get a lot of activity and the comet is essentially just this dead ball of material that doesn't do a whole lot when it is out as those great distances. But when it comes into the inner solar system and is closer to the sun, it can become heated and that's when we see the long tail and the coma around the head of the comet that appear and things like the dust jets that we see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for November 26th of 2023. It was titled a dust jet from the surface of comet 67 P. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Eagle Ray. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.